What is essential for the online game? Why is server programming so difficult when making multiplayer games? Today, before I explain why PrudeNet is good, I will first explain about the server. What is the server? The server must operate on all of input signals and must output the resulting values. The more people, not just one, play at the same time, the more signals the server receives in a short time and processes more and sends the more results. What if the server does not work? What if the server doesn't work well? There's a lag. It's good server programming to handle a lot of signals, but not to cause a lag. What does it take to program a good server? You need three big things. You need great software, great hardware, great networks. Among them, software needs easy and simple coding, bug-free coding, and performance optimization coding. If you use ProudNet, you can do coding that satisfies all three things. The first advantage of ProudNet is the P2P function. There are three main network structures in online games. The P2P model is used in combat games, sports games, and so on. Users communicate directly, reducing the burden on the server and tying up users in the same area, making communication faster. However, to use the P2P function first, you must pass through the router. This is called hole punching. It's simple to track the IP of the router here, but it's not easy to figure out the IP of the individual devices underneath it. And even if you find out device IP, it's not easy to maintain hole punching because IP changes often. If you use ProudNet, hole punching programming is simplified. It automatically restores hole punching for game developers. P2P retention rate is China 82%, Europe 80%, Southeast Asia 84%, and Korea 96%. It's easier to program with TCP and UDP when you're using ProudNet. First, let's talk about TCP and UDP. TCP is a connection-oriented protocol. TCP is reliable as it guarantees the delivery of data to destination through routers. However, TCP is comparatively slower than UDP. UDP is the datagram-oriented protocol. UDP is efficient for broadcast and multicast type of network transmission. UDP is faster, simpler, and more efficient than TCP. However, the delivery of data to the destination cannot be guaranteed in UDP. There are also issues with permanent packet loss, false positive problems with internet security devices, hole punching issues between client servers, and congestion control processing. ProudNet automatically selects TCP or UDP. Using TCP over ProudNet improves time wasting due to delays. Using UDP with ProudNet improves reliability with various methods. Using ProudNet makes multi-threaded programming easier because it uses ThreadPool. With ProudNet, it allows users to select the thread model they want. When multi-threaded mode is selected, separate the game logic and network processing threads. Each delay between the game logic thread and the network processing thread does not affect each other. It keeps finished threads in pool without destroying them and reuses them as needed. Multi-threaded mode enables you to make the most of your CPU. Of course, you can choose the single thread mode to develop it. Let's wrap this up. With ProudNet, development becomes easier and standardized. You can simply implement a multitude of features with ProudNet, messaging function, and networking function. Multiplay server development is possible from the first day with one-day training and easy coding guide. It becomes easily replaceable when server developer changes. With ProudNet, performance becomes more optimized. You can experience more than 10% increase of maximum concurrent connectors over existing server coding. ProudNet has high hole punching success rate and keep rate in P2P. Finally, you can rely on ProudNet. ProudNet has more than 10 years of service. It is adopted in over 200 games. There was no critical server issues among customers ever. Now, try ProudNet.